wait for you to get over here. <laughs> yeah. All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you from Gen Con 2018 at the Kingdom Death Booth, bringing you some demos today, and we're joined with the one, the only, Zach Barish. How you doing today, Zach? Redacted. <laughs> As usual. So, Zach, it's a little different looking than what uh, I'm used to for KDM here. Tell us about what we got on the table. This is something very special. Uh, normally for demo, I would be like, welcome, this is Kingdom Death. Uh, but everybody here who's playing knows how to play, so we're going to go right into this. Perfect. Uh, this is something that our 3D uh, printer and sculptors and Adam basically worked overtime just to show off at, at Gen Con. Absolutely beautiful. This is the Black Knight Showdown. Uh, we've modified it a little bit. We've made it a little bit easier so you could face it. But the cool thing about the Black Knight Showdown is it is a showdown that doesn't take place on the showdown board. Okay. I think normally it takes place on full... 14, uh, four of these, four by four. Mm -hmm. We've made it a little bit smaller for the demo. And here's the story of how the demo starts. You've okay. heard this before because this is their second demo. So hopefully this is fun enough that they're like, yeah, I want to play it again. So I'm back. So this is, uh, these survivors have been spent basically the entire time day climbing up the side of the inverted mountain. And they reach something they've sort of never seen before, like advanced architecture. They climb uh, into this cathedral, this dilapidated uh, edifice on the edge of the inverted mountain. What you see on the edge, the lack of walls, the lack of an edge of a showdown board, there is no edge. If you are knocked off of this, you might fall to your death instantly. But that's not going to happen, right? Not three times in a row, right? I mean, I <laughs> hope it happens. You probably don't, but I want it to. So the survivors have climbed in, and immediately they were set upon by this the Black Knight, which hopefully everybody's seen. Uh, the Black Knight is a brutally strong monster. Every, it's a Node 3 nemesis, for those who it matters to, and every single step it takes, the entire ruins quake. But for some reason, as you fight, and we're starting this fight at the climax, mm -hmm. and you've both damaged each other heavily, but as you fight, you realize it's not using the full force of its muscles. It's almost being playful. It's focusing more on smashing you through things rather than just outright squashing you like bugs you are. Okay. So, this fight's at the climax. Each of you has three bleeding tokens. You should all take a survivor record sheet and name your survivors. You have spent all your survival. You have used your sky harpoon. All of our survivors are in the correct place. This AI deck is getting a good shuffle. This it location deck is in the proper orientation. You're not going to draw the trap in the first attack. You have no survival. Your lights and heavy turn filled. And we're going to start at the beginning. You've all played Kingdom Death, any, so you know what to do. Any armor? You have no armor points Jeez. whatsoever. But you do have really cool armor because your body's in armor. That's right. You're wearing four pieces of regal armor, which we asked for for this. And then we forced our, accidentally forced our sculptors to make for us. Accidentally. In any case, you're all experienced seasoned players. Uh, you're going to see how the showdown unfolds as it goes on, but you notice there's a lot of stuff on the showdown board. You can't walk through this. There's a bunch of different kinds of architecture and pots and junk and stuff, which you'll become acquainted with when bodies fly into it. <laughs> we'll see that happens, though. Sounds good. I'm going to let you go in whatever order you like, unless you take too long, and then I'll tell you what to do. If you guys don't mind... I'd like to go and hit it in the butt first, if that's okay. Do you have a preference on cheek? Left cheek, best, best cheek. cheek. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here. One, two, three, four spaces. Perfect. Left cheek, two best cheek. Two seed hits on fours are better because of the blunt spot. So I'm using the butcher cleaver here. So Seven that five. is two hits no in the card. cloaked tailbone and the flared greaves. Okay. Monster normally has a toughness of nine. Uh, but the cloaked tailbone's the death blow, so it has minus two toughness. Okay. So seven or, you need seven. Five strengths, so you need a two or better. So, I mean, thematically, I think it's good to hit the tailbone first, too. I mean, you are attacking from the butt. Yeah. How about a six? Six plus five is an 11. That's a wound. We're going to burn an AI card, put it in the wound stack. Now you're going to go for the flared greaves. This is a failure reaction. Okay. So don't failure. <laughs> and this is a, a four plus. To yeah, four plus. plus. Okay. Nine toughness, five strength. Seven. Seven. That is a wound. If you had failed to wound, the monster would perform sort of its signature action, keep away. Okay. We'll see that when we get to it. Who would like to go next? I, I think I might just poke him because I'm standing right in front of him. That's an excellent choice. So you have the finger of God yeah. and a monster tooth necklace. So two speed. It's on fives or better. Six strength. All right. And you got reach. I got two a on six and a five. Well. So that is two hits in the ornate cuirass and or cuirass and the pleated mail. 
Let's go for the pleated male first. That's a failure reaction. Okay. Three or better to wound. Three or better. Three or better. I think I can do that. How That's about a four? four is just enough. Four is three or better. So we're going to burn that. Uh, we've had three hits so far and three wounds. Great start. Good start. Ornate Quiras, you need a three or better. This is a wound reaction. A five. 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 That's a wound. That is a wound. You've wounded the monster four times. You have... Come on. Bam. You're halfway there. Living on a And half of your survivors have That was have better than our whole last demo. That was better than... Yeah, you got three <laughs> wounds in. Yeah. <laughs> it was the worst demo I've seen at Gen Con. It was also the first, though, so the record wasn't that great. Anyway, remember I said the uh, monster has a signature action? Yeah. The monster is going to full move towards you. Oh, that's, boy. That's, that. that's not you. That's uh, yeah, you. I'm over there. I was like, I'm so used to that person getting attacked. really want to beat me up. And it's going to perform keep away. The monster is going to hit you like just like... I don't know, like yeah. a stress ball, like something tiny. Okay. Lift you onto its shoulder, and then it's going to look around for the closest elastomer statue, not on the same tile. See these things? This is an elastomer statue. The monster's going to pick you over and just shot put you face first right into this thing. All okay. right. Your life lashes before your eyes because you're now hurtling towards solid rock, carved stone. You're going to die. And then you smash right into the elastomer statue, which crumbles right as your body hits it and you discover it's not made of stone at all but highly highly elastic resin you make a nice Ooh. face imprint before the statue snaps back in place and you're gonna suffer you're gonna bounce off of it you were gonna suffer knockback four mm -hmm. but every time you hit one of these it changes the direction of your knockback and increases it by four oh, wow. so you're actually suffering knockback eight so you're gonna go one two you smash right through this but none of the terrain Nothing in this showdown is sufficient to stop your momentum. Okay. Not the monster, not the terrain, not the edge of the board. Not even the monster. Correct. The monster will dodge you out of the way. It apparently can spend survival. <laughs> One, I, I mean, two, I thought you were just really good at dodgeball. Three. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge uh, yeah, Exactly. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, and you land in a heap. You've collided with, well, what appear to be... Three bunches of pots and swords, and a pillar and a column, which is different. Yay. But I won't define the difference for you folks. So each of these is breakable. They don't they, breakable is similar to destructible, but okay. in, uh, instead of stopping your momentum, you keep going. Just you just you up. cover them in rubble. Oh, okay. So each one you hit is going to make you take one damage. <laughs> so that's five hits of one. Yeah. Good thing you have so much armor. Wait, Oops. you don't. Oh, you dropped it. So that is arms, legs, legs, head. And body. body. All right. I'm good. A good spread. So that's going to be a heavy on the legs and the and the head. You're knocked down, but you're okay. You'll get and if anybody else goes down this way, you've cleared a path, though. Well done. You survived. I you survived. You survived. You have not yet gone. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't go with the harpoon. Yeah. Awesome. So one, two, three, four, five. Sky harpoon has reached three. One, two, three. You're there. So two speed hits on fives are better. Fives are better. Seven and a one. One hit. Half unfortunate, half successful. This is the white-eyed pauldron. It has plus two toughness to wound it. Ooh. So you need to head at 11. Six or better with your five strength. Woo! That is a wound. You guys, this is, this. you're, you're making mincemeat <laughs> of my friend here. One, two, three, four, five. You can reach the butt. The oh, left yeah, cheek. left cheek, best cheek. All right, three speed. Hits on sixes or better because of the blind spot. This is a... Uh, He's using the guitars, right? Guitars with a full white lion armor set. So, so one seven, hit. a one, and a two. So this one is hit. the you've drawn the trap card face. On the Sorry, top. my friend. Remember, I said the monster was kind of playful. Not anymore. It drops its shoulders. It whips around to stare at you. Playtime is over. You've drawn roughhouse. The monster <laughs> is going to whip around and do a two-speed attack. Hits on threes or better. Two hits. It's going to be two damage to your. I'll have you roll. Legs and body. So okay. that's a heavy on the legs and heavy on the body. But wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> if you call within the next five minutes, you will also suffer knockback eight away from the monster. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have you cut this deck so the trap is your fault, not mine. The viewers <laughs> at least it's not at me. You. I'm sorry? At least it's not me. Yeah, we can't always have a Josh's fault as the, uh, the, the, the rule for here. I mean, you could cut it again. We can blame you. But I, I think that would steal him of this. So... Let's all pay attention because a bunch of stuff is about to happen. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've seen bouncing off that statue before, but now we're going to see a little more. Knockback eight. So one, two, three, four. Face first to that. Increase your knockback. So we're going through 12. This is our fifth space. 
Six, ouch. Seven, ouch. Eight, nine. Oh, why is there a light in that greeting? Ten, eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so you've hit two things. You're going to take one damage to two hit locations. Head and body. Head and body. It's a severe body. That's going to be a severe on the body. Oh, yay. Now, we'll notice one thing. You've fallen out. We'll get to that in a minute. If he survives. Well, we One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have you have two knockback remaining. That's your momentum. Your uh, oh, we even have artwork for this. This is the Cliffside Sanctuary trait card we've blown up. But basically, if you're knocked out, you're gonna try and scramble to survive. But we need to see if you're alive after colliding with that. This is on the body. Yeah. Four on the body. That is a gaping chest wound. So not just a piece of rubble in one side and out the other. You're getting a bleeding token and minus one permanent strength. But good news, you're alive. Now you're going to scramble to survive. This is a story event that I just have in my brain. <laughs> but it says you are ejected from the inverted mountain. Below you lies cold air and a long fall. Roll 1d10 and subtract your remaining knockback, which is 2. Uh, 2 uh, minus 2 is 0, the 1 or less table result. Your fingers grab nothing. You just look as the sanctuary disappears above you, shrinking to a single point as you look at your chest wound and think upon your life. And in a few mo moments, you land hard on the ground, dead. Any jewelry you were wearing, shattered. Any fragile gear, shattered. Your body, totally gone. I'm sorry, I'm gonna remove you from the showdown board. Folks who played Kingdom Death before know that death is not the end. You control some of the survivors. You had at least a pretty cool death. I don't think anyone's ever died that way before in Kingdom Death, mm -hmm. outside of this. But that said, that was a pretty, pretty productive first turn. Five wounds done, three to go. And now we're going right. to draw our first AI card. Left behind. Oh, I never moved. Oh, well. You never moved? Yeah. That's well, uh, uh, that's going to work out well for you yeah. because the monster is... Oh, you were knocked down. I wasn't knocked down. Oh, I, I'm, right, I'm right here. Oh, I attacked the hard never Oh, That's oh, you. you. I forgot. Everybody, I get say confused. with me, blame Josh Rule for three. Rule three. So it's going to pick the closest threat in range, who is me. Matt with the Butcher's Cleaver. Hi, Black Two Knight. speed, so the oh, monster's no. going to saunter up to you and then shove you in its right cheek. Oh. It's it going to turn around, lifts up its elbow, oh, no. and you're going to get hit with a massive backhand. Two speed, hits on freezer better. Two hits. Oh of boy. course it is. One damage each. Okay. You, you can survive this. Waste and head. Waste and head. Okay. You're fine. So You're not knocked down. down. But I'll get All up right. again. There's a more important thing that's about to happen. After damage, knock back four. And you're about to go through something we at the office casually call Pinball Alley. Yep. I could mechanically go through what's happening, but remember how I said every single time you hit one of those, your knockback increases by four because physics? You're going to go knockback four. Four, 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 four. You're going to have a suffering knockback 20. Where you go, bang. See, I knocked it out. Our magnet's a little weak. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Build up a lot of velocity. Your eyeballs fall back into your head. And you <laughs> shoot out at 50 miles an hour. A speed a survivor has never met except for you. <laughs> Terminal So velocity. now you're going to scramble to survive. You, your remaining knockback is enormous. Yeah. So you need a 10 to survive. Okay, that's like... 10% chance. Oh, I was going to say like a 5% chance, but that works too. Oh, it's a nine. Roll don't roll on that. Oh, don't roll out. Okay, it bounced. Oh, Rocket oh, man, burning out his fuse out here alone. <laughs> You're dead. I'm sorry, you have shot out like a cannonball. But with that, the monster's AI card is done, and the two of us remaining can go on with our lives. Woo. All right. You're going to stand up, because you were knocked down on the monster's last turn. I mean, the survivor's last turn. Yeah. But you're not in range yet. So let Caroline, you ready to go? Awesome. All right. Two speed. Hits on fives are better. Three and a six. One hit. One hit. Ornate tacit. This is a failure reaction. Five strength, four better to wound. Oh. If adjacent, you knew to not do this. Why did you do that? <laughs> like, Caroline's actually a pro at fighting this monster. I think she's just being nice for the viewers at home. And like, let's show off what the monster does instead of how it dies. <laughs> monster's going to heft you up. And it is going to throw you against the closest elastomer statue on a different tile, which happens to be the same one. You land right here and collide with Josh. Hey. Knocking Josh over. <laughs> Josh misses his act because he just got knocked down again. 
Yeah. Let's take a nap. If only we'd gone first. Man, <laughs> if only you would attack from the space away. Oh well, the monster goes. It draws AI. Fierce clothesline. Nothing, <laughs> no. This is the monster's probably its most powerful attack. Oh, that's good. It's going to target the farthest survivor, who in this case is Caroline. It jumps up into the air with a backflip and lands on one of these statues. You see the statue strain underneath it as uh, <laughs> potential energy suddenly turns into kinetic and the monster rushes right through, smashing through everything and dropping an arm on both of you. Oh, boy. Which is also going to... I'm going to be nice and... No, I'm not going to be nice. <laughs> I'm going to pop you out one, two, three, four. So a couple things just happened. First... Every monster, the uh, survivor the monster collides with suffers three damage to a random hit location. Oh, three to one. Okay. Three to one. That's a body severe and a leg severe. Yep. So I'm going to have you roll on the leg I table. A four. Four, four on I, the um, legs. I believe that is dismembered leg. Yay. I don't need that leg. What do you have? Right. It was just extra weight. Nine on which table? Nine on the body, collapse lung, minus one movement token. You both lost some movement. Woo. You were going to scramble to survive because knockback five. One, two, three, four. Minus one to your roll. Three are better to stay alive. Four. 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 Just four made minus, it. Uh, four minutes, mm. that is one. You slam your arms down on the last, uh, at the last possible second, catching yourself on some jagged rubble. You are alive, but you're in some pain. So you're going to take one arms damage. All right, that gives me a heavy on the arms. Yep. Where's your so survivor? Oh, that's you. Oh. That's your survivor. Where did your survivor oh, go? I put it over here. It fell off the edge. Okay. So you're going to be knocked down right there. Yeah, right there. You're alive. All right. And now the monster is going to actually move and attack Caroline. <laughs> two speed hits on threes are better. Two hits. Nice. One to your. I'll do it for you. And by that, I mean I'll give you the dice. Body, body. Body, body. Two body rolls. Oh, Instant a death. A bone fragment flies into your heart, killing you instantly. <laughs> Dead. And... How else do you die? She's just dead. She I'm knows so it. Dead. It started off so well, it too. It did. After damage, knockback six. So your corpse flies out. Because the last time I played with this, there's a special rule that corpses can still suffer knockback. At the end of the knockback, you would show it on board. But it means maybe your dead body can at least clear a path for your friends. That's good. Uh, or you can also said, lose your gear when you fall. Also true. <laughs> yeah. With that said, we are now down from 1v1. We went from four survivors successfully dealing five wounds to one remaining survivor having to do the rest of the job. With one leg. Well, you can hop on over there. Yeah, I can hop. <laughs> All right, you're going to stand up on your act. I'm going to shuffle the AI discard. I believe you need in to you, move Josh. one space to be in range. I believe in you, Josh. Are you ready? Are you ready, Josh? Matt, are you ready for Josh? Oh, no. Not he's at all. Screw it up. He's of course he is. 100%. Oh, he's oh, no, he's... He? The monster's there because you were there. The monster went through you. He's, and he's on. He's a uh, oh, yeah, two you're by right. two, right? The monster smashed through that as well. All right. No, thank you. So, yeah, i got to stand right there. I don't know if that's a good move or not. I think that's a great move. Um, that means it's not. <laughs> all right. Two speed. Hits on fives are better. Six strength. Two, two to four. four. High five. Nothing. Monster Nothing. turn. Nothing. Left behind. The monster smashes through this and shows you its backside. Similarly, right cheek. I'm sensing a pattern. If I'd move the monster to the other side, left cheek. Yeah. But that would be the best side. <laughs> Two speed. Hits on threes are better. One, One to nine. Okay. okay. One hit for how much? One damage. How about the your hands? hands? That's a severe injury. Oh, severe yeah. injury. Seven. Seven on the arms. You have a broken arm, but to go with your dismembered leg, that is your fifth bleeding token. Your corpse suffers knockback four out of the cathedral. So all of your corpses have successfully fallen out, Yay. except for Caroline's, which is there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was the Black Knight demo. If you had won, you would have carved this monster up for resources. What, you might say? But this is a nemesis monster. Yes, but it's a nemesis monster we promised armor sets for. Armor sets? Armor sets. I hope we get to do that. I'm very excited. We've gotten to play with them, and they're very exciting. Anyway, I hope you had some fun with Sneak Peek of, of the future of Kingdom Death. Uh, this was a joy to play with you folks. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you Thanks for so killing much, Zach. Us, Zach. You're welcome. Much Anytime. appreciated. And thank all of you for watching at home. Stay tuned for more of our coverage from Gen Con 2018. Signing off for now, though, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Have a good one, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. How was that? Perfect.